Hey everyone, welcome to question four associated with the confidence intervals, type one and two errors, and p-values lecture. As usual, I recommend you pause the video, attempt it on your own, and then watch the remainder of the video to see whether you did it correctly. So in this case, a study is performed to evaluate a new antihypertensive medication. The mean systolic BP among patients receiving placebo was 128.8, and among patients receiving the medication was 124.4 with a difference in means of 4.4 and a 95% confidence interval extending from 0.6 to 8.0. And we're asked, what is like the likely p-value and statistical significance? So I'll say, in having worked with a lot of students, a common misconception is that if the 95% confidence interval includes one, it is not statistically significant, and that applies in all situations. However, as you recall from lecture, that only applies to ratio measures. So in ratio measures like an odds ratio or relative risk, the null hypothesis is one because we're doing X over Y. However, for difference measures such as this, where it's actually X minus Y, the null hypothesis is actually zero. Because if X equals Y and we're doing X minus Y, then x minus y should be zero if they're equal to one another. So in this case, because we're doing a difference measure, we look to see whether the 95% confidence interval includes zero. And we see that it extends from 0.6 to 8.0, which does not include zero. And therefore, we would be able to claim that this is a statistically significant result. And because it is a statistically significant result, we would imagine that the p-value would be less than 0 0.05. All to say that when trying to decide whether a confidence interval is significant or not, always trying to think what would the null hypothesis be in this case? And does this confidence interval include or exclude the, exclude the null hypothesis? If it excludes the null hypothesis, then it is a significant finding, such as in this case. <laughs> If you had trouble with this question, I recommend you go back and watch the associated lecture. As usual, like, comment, subscribe, and good luck.